Hey! Enough! Listen, everything is gonna be fine. One of the most popular TV shows this fall is the ever-intense Chicago PD, a police procedural drama that is now on its eighth season. The series is part of the Chicago franchise, which includes shows like Chicago Fire, Chicago PD, Chicago Med, and Chicago Justice. Considering the demands for police reform and protests present throughout the year of 2020, people were very curious to see how Chicago PD would handle these issues in their upcoming season. Since the premiere of season eight in November of 2020, Fans of the Chicago franchise have been on the edge of their seats with all the twists and turns the new season has taken. When watching a show that's been so popular and has run for as long as Chicago PD, it's easy to get curious about the actors and actresses playing the characters on the screen. While some actors are very similar to the characters they play in real life, others could not be more different. If you've been wondering about the cast of Chicago PD, wonder no further. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at the cast of Chicago PD Season 8 and revealing their lifestyles. You don't want to miss this list. But first, First, a simple reminder on how to enter our brand new giveaway. We will be giving away either an iPhone X Max, the new iPad Mini, or a MacBook Pro. It's all your choice. So be sure to leave a like, comment the keyword, subscribe, and turn on notifications to enter the giveaway. It's really that simple. Number 1. Jason Beggy, Sergeant Henry Hank Voigt The first Chicago PD cast member on our list is Jason Beggy, who plays Sergeant Henry Hank Voigt. The 60-year-old actor who's been on the show since 2014 is originally from New York City. Prior to beginning his acting career, he actually worked as a model in Europe. How cool is that? He had his film debut in 1985 when he was in the film Compromising Positions. Since then, Beggy has acted in many shows and movies, and even once acted alongside O.J. Simpson. Nowadays, Beggy lives in a home in Los Angeles, California, and he has two children with ex-wife Angie Janu, whom he divorced in 2017. In his time outside work, Beggy spends his time speaking out against his former religion of Scientology. Beggy was involved with the religion, whose followers include celebs like Tom Cruise, Elizabeth Moss, and Laura Preppen, from 1994 until 2007. Since leaving the religion, however, Beggy has been publicly critical of the church and has even attended protests and rallies against Scientology. Number 2. Jesse Lee Soffer, Detective Jay Halstead Next up is Jesse Lee Soffer, who plays Detective Jay Halstead on screen. The 36-year-old originally hails from Ossining, New York, and he attended New York University for college. In addition to starring as Detective Jay Halstead since 2014, Soffer has also acted on a lot of other shows. These include CSI Miami, The Mentalist, and As the World Turns for which he received three Emmy nominations. In addition to being a top-notch actor, Soffer is also notorious for romancing his co-stars off-screen. He was in a relationship with his Chicago PD co-star Sophia Bush, who played Aaron Lindsay on the show from 2014 to 2016. After his relationship with Bush ended, he then began dating Chicago Med star Tori DeVito, who plays Dr. Natalie Manning. The pair began dating in 2017, but they only publicly confirmed their relationship in August 2018, after they had already been together for a year. Sadly, the couple later announced that they had broken up in May of 2019. Number 3. Tracy Spiridakos, Detective Haley Upton The next Chicago PD member we'll be taking a look at is Tracy Spiridakos, who plays the role of Detective Haley Upton. Tracy Spiridakos was born in Winnipeg, Canada to Greek parents who owned a restaurant. For a time in her childhood, her family moved back to her father's hometown in Scala, Greece, for a few years before returning to Canada. As a result, Spiridakos speaks fluent Greek. In addition to her strong connection to her Greek heritage, Tracy also has had an illustrious career in film and television so far. Her first television role was a small part on the hit CW series Supernatural, and things just took off from there. Since then, Spiridakos has appeared in projects like Rise of the Planet of the Apes, Bates Motel, and a Nickelodeon original movie called Rags. Her role as Detective Haley Upton is one of her most recognized acting projects, and she's appeared as Detective Upton in many spin-offs of the Chicago franchise, including Chicago PD, Chicago Fire, Chicago Med, and FBI. Number 4. Marina Squareciati, Officer Kim Burgess. Marina Squareciati who plays Officer Kim Burgess, is the next Chicago PD cast member we'll be taking a look at. Squareciati was born and raised in New York City by her mother, academic and writer Marie Squareciati. In 2003, she earned a BA in theater from Northwestern University in Evanston, Illinois. During her career, she's completed many acting projects in theater, film, and television. The actress made her Broadway debut in an adaptation to Shakespeare's To Be or Not To Be. Since then, the actress has starred in many television shows such as The Good Wife, Blue Bloods, and Gossip Girl. After gaining attention in her episodes on Season 5 of Gossip Girl, Squareciati was cast as Officer Kim Burgess on Chicago PD in 2013. The actress made headlines in late 2019 after she filed a court document alleging that John R. Jacobson, a wealthy financier, was her father. If that name sounds familiar,
familiar, it's because Jacobson was also the father of actress Maggie Wheeler, who played Janice on Friends. The outcome of the actress's court proceedings and the identity of her true father are yet to be revealed. Number 5. Patrick John Fluger, Officer Adam Ruzek Next up is Patrick John Fluger, who plays Officer Adam Ruzek in the Chicago franchise. The 37-year-old actor originally hails from Minnesota, where he graduated from high school in 2002. Determined to be an actor from a young age, Fluger first appeared as Jeremiah Hart in The Princess Diaries in 2001. After making his debut in the Disney film, Fluger appeared in a variety of television shows over the years, including CSI Miami, Law & Order Special Victims Unit, and finally, in the 4400 as Sean Farrell, the role for which he's most famous. Following his illustrious television career, Fluger moved on to the big screen and starred in several movies. He even screen-tested for the role of Captain America in 2010. While he didn't end up getting that role, he did end up starring in 2011's Footloose and the Lawless Range series. In 2013, Fluger joined the Chicago franchise and began starring as rookie officer Adam Ruzek on Chicago PD. Number 6. Leroy Hawkins, Officer Kevin Atwater Next is Leroy Hawkins, who portrays Officer Kevin Atwater. The 32-year-old is described as an actor, stand-up comedian, spoken word artist, and musician. Hawkins originally hails from a suburb of Chicago called Harvey, Illinois, where he found that he was passionate about comedy and acting from a young age. After graduating high school, the young actor attended Illinois State University, where he majored in theater arts. While he was in college, Hawkins managed to land his first role in a major film. He starred in The Express, The Ernie Davis Story. The feature film was a biopic of Ernie Davis, a football player who was the first African-American recipient of the Heisman Trophy. Hawkins portrayed Davis's football teammate, Art Baker. After starring on the big screen, Hawkins then decided to move on to television, where he starred on shows like Detroit 187 and MTV's Underemployed. In 2013, he was introduced to the Chicago franchise as Officer Kevin Atwater on Chicago Fire. In 2014, he was given a regular role as the same character on Chicago PD. Number 7. Nicole Ari Parker, Deputy Superintendent Samantha Miller Next up is American actress and model Nicole Ari Parker, who plays Deputy Superintendent Samantha Miller on Chicago PD. The actress was born in Baltimore, Maryland, and was an only child to divorced parents. However, it was clear from a young age that Parker was exceptionally talented, and she thrived as a teenager, even winning Best Actress in a Maryland statewide theater competition. After high school, she spent time with the Washington Ballet before attending New York University's prestigious Tisch School of the Arts. Since graduating from Tisch, Parker has had an extremely successful acting career in film and television. Some examples of movies she starred in are the 1995 film The Incredibly True Adventure of Two Girls in Love, Boogie Nights, The Adventures of Sebastian Cole, and Remember the Titans. In addition to having an illustrious film career, Parker has also starred in her fair share of television shows. She's been in shows like CSI, Rosewood Empire, and of course, Chicago PD. Parker married her co-star Boris Kajo from a TV show called Soul Food in 2015. The pair have two children together. Number 8. Last but not least, we have Amy Morton, who stars on Chicago PD as Desk Sergeant Trudy Platt. Prior to appearing in the Chicago franchise, the actress was best known for her work in the theater. Morton spent a lot of time in the Chicago theater scene starting in 1997, when she joined the Steppenwolf Theater group of actors. In 2001, she made her Broadway debut as Nurse Ratched in One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. After that, she had an expansive Broadway career and was even nominated for two Tony Awards. She's not only found success in theater, however, she's also appeared in many films and television shows. She's been in movies like 1992's Straight Talk, which starred Dolly Parton, 2009 up in the air, and 2013's Bluebird. On television, you can find Morton on shows like ER, Private Practice, Blue Bloods, and Girls. In 2014, Morton was cast as the iconic role of Desk Sergeant Trudy Platt on Chicago PD. She started out as only a guest star on the show, but the director and producers liked her so much that they promoted her to a series regular. Since then, Morton has appeared on many shows in the Chicago franchise, including Chicago Fire, Chicago PD, Chicago Med, and Chicago Justice. And with that, we wrap up this video. Thanks so much for watching and see you next time.